In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how we can start shooting bullets from our spaceship. So in the previous videos we've got the background scrolling and we've got our spaceship moving left and right. What you can do after today's tutorial is press the space bar and you will be able to shoot bullets from your spaceship. Okay so it's pretty straightforward. Let's head on over to Scratch now. Open up your um, progress so far. Should be just the background of the spaceship and we're going to add in a bullet first of all today so the bullet is going to be a sprite that we create ourselves so down your sprites um, list down here go to the blue button and select the paintbrush that allows you to paint your own sprite once this um, box comes up you've got a few basic tools here that you can use to create your bullet I'm going to first of all hit this magnifying glass just to zoom in a little bit closer to the center of the page I'm going to grab my circle tool and change the fill color here to this gradient. It has a dark bit on top and it fades down to become lighter. Now we're going to pick the two colors we want our bullet to be. I'm going to go with like kind of fiery colors. So I'm going to start with a red by just dragging my sliders around for the first color. And then for my second color, I'm going to click on that box and I'm going to go with a yellowy orange kind of color. That looks pretty good. Once you've got your fill color looking like that, you can turn your outline off. We don't need an outline on this bullet, so just press the box with the red line going through it to turn it off. And over this center point, I just want you to draw for me an oval. Something like that. You'll see your bullet appear on the page. It's not too bad. What you can do now is grab this arrow tool here called the reshape arrow tool. And you can play around with each of these little four points to just make it into a bit more of a bullet kind of shape. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger up towards the top, pointy at the end. Make it quite skinny down below. Maybe just something like that. It doesn't have to look too flash. Um, might be a little bit too fat for my liking, but you're getting the idea on how we can adjust this. Okay, so it's up to you how you make it look, but just have a bit of a play with those levers and try and get it looking somewhat like a cool little bullet. Something like that is what I'm going to go with. Okay, and I can see that it is way too big over here in my game. It's almost the same size as the spaceship there, um, height-wise, so I'm going to reduce the size of it. I might try 50%. That's not too bad, so maybe stick with around um, a 50% kind of size there. still don't think this is spot on, but... Near enough is going to be good enough for now. I think that looks all right, especially at that size. So you can go back to your code once you've got your bullet created. Okay, now once that bullet is created, go to your Sprite Properties panel here and give it a name. Let's call it Bullet instead of Sprite. So let's give it something a little bit more meaningful. And basically what we want it to do is we want it to appear from the edge of our spaceship and then go straight up to the top of the screen when we press the spacebar key. Okay, so let's go over to our events and first of all drag out when the green flag is clicked. So when we start our game, what do we want this bullet to do? Okay, so we want our computer to listen out for when we press the spacebar. So let's put in an if statement. So it's going to be an if then. Go to your sensing and bring out the key space pressed. So if the spacebar is pressed, then what do we want this bullet to do? Okay, what we want it to do is create a clone of itself. So rather than sending this bullet up into the sky, we're going to make a duplicate of that bullet and send it up into the sky. And that is going to allow us to create multiple bullets um, throughout the game. So we can keep on shooting throughout the game. So let's go to control here and down in the bottom, create a clone of myself. So when we press the space bar, we create a clone or a duplicate of that bullet. Um, something else that we can do at this point uh, is wrap it up in a forever loop. Okay, the reason being, where is it? We just wrap this whole thing up in a forever loop. The reason being is if we just had this bit of code running when we press the green flag, if we press the spacebar key, nothing would happen. Okay, because the computer reads that code straight away when your game is run and then it forgets about it. But if we wrap it up in a forever loop, like so, the computer is then always listening out for when we press the spacebar key. So we can press the spacebar key at any time throughout our game, and it should be able to shoot a bullet. Okay, that's the first step. 
Now that we've got this clone created, what we want to do is tell this clone what to do exactly. So basically to fly up at the top of the screen. So let's go to our control tab and select when I start as clone. What we want to do first is make that bullet come down and sit level with the spaceship. Okay, we don't want the bullet just to randomly fire from the middle of the screen up the page. We want it to come out of the spaceship. Okay, so the first thing we do is when we start as a clone, we go to, not random position, but we go to spaceship. Okay, so let's just give that a test. If we press that and hold space, I'll just tap spacebar. You can see the bullet now comes down here level with the spaceship. Okay, so that's good. It's smack bang in the middle too, so it's going to come straight out of the nose when we shoot it up into the sky. Okay, so let's go to control here. And we're going to do a repeat until loop. So what that's going to happen here is the bullet, we want it to go up into the sky. And it's going to keep going up and up and up or repeating a piece of code to make it go up and up and up until it hits the top of the page. Okay, so let's try and work out first of all using sensing when it touches the top of the page. So we're going to repeat some code until it's touching the edge of the page. And the code that we want it to repeat is a simple bit of movement to change y by 10. Let's have a look at what that does. Let's press spacebar. Okay, and we've got bullets going up to the sky. I know we've got lots of them at the moment, especially if I hold spacebar. We're going to fix that in a moment. The issue is, at the moment, they're getting stuck at the top of the page. So when they hit the top of the page there, I want that clone to disappear. And that's easy to do in our control tab. We simply just go down the bottom and select delete this clone. Just put it down the bottom of that chunk of code. So now when we shoot the bullet up into the sky, they actually look like they disappear. They're just hitting the top and disappearing. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, next thing I might do is I might slow down the amount of bullets that we are getting um, coming out at once. Okay, we've got way too many coming out there. And it's going to be too easy to play the game if we shoot out that many bullets at once. So what we can do is in this loop over here, when we create a clone of myself, instead of creating clones constantly, let's tell the computer to wait before it makes another clone. So underneath oops, where it's creating a clone of myself, let's wait half a second before another clone can be created. So that means another bullet can be created. Let's see how that looks. If I hold spacebar now, that's a much better speed, just shooting at one bullet at a time. All right, so that's looking good. Next thing I want it to do is play a sound. So when we um, press spacebar, I want to hear a little sound of a bullet coming out. Now, because we're in space, we can choose some kind of futuristic sound. So let's go to our sound tab here. And at the moment it says play sound pop, which means I want to bring in another sound. Let's get rid of that pop sound and go down and search for a new sound in Scratch. The sound I'm looking for is called pew, so P-E-W. If you have a listen to it, you can hear it. So that's the sound I want. So back in our code, let's drag out this first one here that says play sound pew. So after we create a clone of ourselves, that means we've created a bullet, let's play a sound. Okay, and then we wait half a second before we can do all that again. So let's have a listen. All right, so that's sounding good. Now, it's probably just a matter of tidying things up now. You might have noticed we've got our original bullet still sitting on the page here. Okay, so what we might do there is hide it. So in your looks, just scroll down and select the hide and put that up the top here. So when the green flag is clicked, we're going to hide that original bullet. There he goes. The issue is our clones hide with it so we can't even see the clones so over here when we start as a clone we need to tell the computer to show oh we need to tell the bullet to show itself again so we've got a show option here so when we start as a clone uh, let's show ourselves. it's better okay now you might have noticed when we shoot the bullet the bullet looks like it's coming off the top of the um, spaceship, not out of the tip. Just watch here again. I'll go into full screen so you can see it better. 
So it looks like it's coming out of this little blue section here, but I want it to look like it's coming out of the nose of the spaceship. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here is play around with some layers. Okay, it's pretty easy to do. In the look section here, uh, you've got some options to play with layers. Where are they? Down the bottom here. Okay, the bullet. What I'm going to get it to do is, after we hide it, I'm going to get it to go to the front layer. And then I'm going to get it to drop back one layer. So I'm going to say go backward one layer. Okay, so this is on layer two. The thing that I want on top is actually my spaceship. So when I start my spaceship, go over to your spaceship sprite for a sec. I'm going to say go to front layer. So I might put that just here. So my spaceship is going to be on top of everything. And then coming in on the layer beneath that is going to be the bullet. So hopefully now the bullet will appear from underneath the spaceship and then come out the nose. Let's give that a run. That looks better. So the bullet does start around the middle of the spaceship, but because the spaceship is on the top layer and the bullet is beneath it, the bullet goes up underneath the ship and then comes out the nose. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, apart from that, I don't think there's much more that we can add to that, so we've basically got it. So, you can shoot. Yeah, that'll wrap up this video. So in the next video, what we might start to do is bring in some enemies. So we're going to bring in a bad guy that we can shoot, but that bad guy can also run into us and take some health off us. Okay, so I'll catch you in the next video where we start to get a little bit more fancy with our coding.